Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Um, so, I'm just about done with this Mercury. i got to put the VRO, a few other things back on it, and uh, we'll get started on that. And then i got this filthy Yamaha, we'll get to cleaning on that. Then i got the 30 Johnson out there. Needs to have the power head pulled off of it and the uh, lower cow replaced and who knows what else is broke on it. I haven't really dug into that one uh, that much yet. So let's get started on that and uh, don't forget to hit the like and give us a subscribe and let's get started. Now I got to get the VRO. Boom, boom, boom. You see that hose? Right here goes to the tank right here so I've got to see how much oil I cannot spill and I did say cannot spill <laughs> so let's see if I can maybe move it in at a decent angle and then keep most of the oil in there let me get a set of needle nose This is an, an actual fuel hose zip tie. You can see that little curvature there so that when you come around you get a full 360 wrap. You don't leave a little pinched area in there. You Anastas. Squatted. Now we gotta get it up on the end of that. There we go. I don't know how much of this you're gonna be able to see, but I'll try to show you. There we go. So, hopefully you can see the zip tie, it's right in there, the hose and it's zip tied to there now. So, and then we got a couple wires we got to hook up, and then we got these with the spacers we got to hook up. Where's the other one? This back one already has a spacer, so it don't need a spacer. Just the front one does. Front two. This one already has a spacer. My little quarter inch. Remember, when you're screwing in the plastic, gentle, gentle to toe. Okay. Now, we've got these two wires here. They're both light blue. They hook up to these two light blue wires. One and two. There we go. Tuck them in. Now, 
that. This will hook up to his harness for his overheat. Um, that Merc is wrapped. Okay, but this is one of these owned by my wonderful customers, the commercial fishermen, and uh, it is filthy beyond recognition. Badly abused, the yeah, outboard abuse. You can see this old white nasty powder everywhere why they don't take care of you I give her some loving I give I give her some loving now what is loving you can love your outboard it's perfectly fine take it out on a date you know somewhere like on the water yeah Oh, let's get her cleaned up. She's already looking a little better, and I ain't even hit her with the purple power of the water or nothing yet, you know. She's already looking, looking a little better. Oh, show. Sure. Yeah, so I think that's all I'm going to do with the... Gasolinas, you understand us? I speak it as Spanish. You put petroleonas. It just amazes me. I'll sit here and clean on these outboards like this with carb cleaner, brake clean, gasolinas. Let them sit overnight sometimes, you know. Spray purple powered. 
water all in them. And daggum, if a, next morning, a creepy crawly don't come crawling out there, what want to get me? I don't know what it is with creepy crawlies and outboards. Boy, they sure love living in them. You'd think this would be the last place they want to live. Never find any other bugs in there, just the spiders. Just them spiders, creepy crawlies, nasties. All right, so. I'm gonna get out the purple power, and first I gotta get some rags and plug them intakes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got me a little shop towel. I squirt the tri flow all in there, all on the rag, you know, you know, all over the place, you know. Keep the little water repellents, you know. There we go. Just a little, whoops, little repellents, you know, so it's repellent. I'm not gonna hose this thing down. You know, like it's a burning building or nothing. We're just gonna put this there so it, you know, you know, you understand. Yeah. We got a little rod of reflect going on there. Okay, we get the purple power. Squeeze there, that's better. That's better. That's some more better, see? We get the purple power. This old salty outboard a bath. This old salty outboard a bath. You cleaned it up. on it, break clean, the purple power, the water, It'll be like the very next day, 20, 20, 14, 16, 18 hours later, big old nasty creepy crawly come crawling out from under the, wherever, it could come out from under the tiller, out from under the flower, you never know, they in there, they in there, I went to my local grocery store, yesterday, in a grocery store, you know, where you buy a pork chop and a loaf of bread. You know what they had for sale in there? And I bought one. Had to do it, this lady. You know what they had in there? $5.99. They had Venus fly traps. That's what I said, Venus fly traps. They're about like that tall. It had four or five of them little grab the bug things. I'll show you. I'll show you. I bought one. Is there something morbid about wanting to watch a plant eat a bug? I don't know. Guess it'd be like you sitting out beside a rose bush and that rose bush watching you eat a chicken leg. Just in reverse. So we use the gas to cut the grease, the dirty, thick grease, yuck, mixed with salt, grit, everything else. So that's what the gas was for, was to thin out all that petroleates that were all caked on here. Then we come behind it with the purple power, and uh, that breaks it down even further into a soapy slather emulsionist. Then we'll come by with a little bit of water. I said little bit now. You ain't gonna throw this thing over Niagara Falls. You're just gonna give it a little misting. You understand? So, we got her all slathered and slurried and yummy. It breaks my heart to see these outboard getting abused like this, man. 
It's abused. Call the outboard abuse hotline. Okay. I'm going to let this soak for six, five, two, three, four, eight minutes. I'll be back. All right. She's been soaking. Oh, a little bit. Now, we just give her a little rinsey do. A little rinsey do. Oh, rinse that off. That's about enough. Don't that just look a lot better? Whole lot better. They'll clean right up. So now we got her a little clean. And like I told you, I'll probably be kind of be doing, you know, more than one thing at once. So, I'm going to take these triplets off the Yamaha and I'll put them on the bench because we're going to have to take each one of those apart. You know that. So, let me put my Yama Snatch stuff in here. And here's the Johnson. And uh, it just amazes me at how fast they can take them out. I sold this engine about two months ago, uh, and it was really pristine. But you can see now she got a big old crack running through there, and it's all smashed in. Uh, spark plugs broke. Um, who knows what else I'll find as we go along with it, but I'm going to start unbolting this power head and all. I don't have one of these uh, lower cows that's gray, so I'll have to get one off a different one and paint it and all that. But, uh, yeah. That still seems to work. So hopefully that's all it'll be is maybe a busted spark plug and uh, the cowling pan. So we got that one going. We got that one going. You are going to see what I am going to see. There. Choke. Neutral. Let's see what we get. Stay tuned for part two on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.